the sovereign bond that was raised by the government in uh, 2018, uh, otherwise known as Eurobond 2. The facts are as follows. It is true that uh, we did receive um, the funds that were that came from the Eurobond, and I'll explain what I'll explain this in in some detail, not too much, but in some detail. As you all know, that um, we, as the central bank, opened an account on the 20th of February. This you don't know, but on the 20th of February, we opened an account in uh, an offshore account in. Uh, Citibank to receive the proceeds of uh, this sovereign bond. That's not surprising. Um, that is the that is the way we had uh, we had to receive these resources. And indeed, on the 28th of February, the central bank received into this account 1.999. Then the other numbers, but that is enough. 1.999. You can remember that as much as I can. Uh, million, a billion, sorry, U.S. dollars. So 1.999 billion U.S. dollars into that account. So all of it, not a single dollar was missing. So whatever was received came in there directly. Okay. Then, on the, on. The 12th of March, upon instruction from the National Treasury, we transferred the entire amount, entire amount, 1.999 billion US dollars, being the proceeds, to the consolidated fund account here, that is the National Treasury account, belonging to the National Treasury, right? All of it. What we did, of course, is to convert it into Kenya shillings. You understand? The account is in Kenya shillings. So we converted it at the going rate and put in there all the Kenya shilling equivalent. Actually, you ask, OK, we then, we, we as central bank uh, bought the US dollars at the going rate. I hope we understand each other as to the process. So the equivalent is 201.980, if you want to call it those a billion Kenya shillings. That came 100%, 100%. So every single dollar to the last penny that was in that account was converted to Kenya shillings, and the full amount, I wanted to say, the full amount credited to the government's consolidated fund account. That closes the process. So then the government has the funds in Kenya shillings, and it can use them any whichever way it wants, according to their processes and so forth. And one of the things, of course, would be even uh, making repayments of, uh, of uh, whatever they want, you know, loans that they have or other things. But I think the point we are making here is that completed the process. After that, it is a different process.